toes. Yes, by the up. Up, 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 nose. Ready, up, up, up. Leo is a two-year-old Cocker Spaniel who can perform CPR. A video of him performing the life-saving skill has gone viral, but it's uh, not the only trick he knows. His trainer and owner, Emily Anderson, began teaching him tricks at just eight weeks old. He can also do anything from paint, play ping pong, even play Connect Four. He's more interesting than many people I know. Uh, Emily and Leo are with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ken, we saw you training Leo to do CPR, which is impressive in and of itself. Can can Leo do that on his own? I know he does it when I cue him to do it. He even do it totally on his own. Can I ask? It doesn't. It looks like he might be crushing someone when he keeps jumping on top of them. I mean, is it? Could he literally do this, or is it just to show what you could train the dog to do? Um, so it's just totally done for training. Um, I see. When it kind of went on the internet, a nurse did actually get in contact and said it would be better than nothing. If someone was in cardiac arrest, he would have some effect on them. Oh, I see. If it, It's better than nothing because just uh, yeah, the chest compressions. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So you're a, you're a dog trainer, obviously. How long is Leo a special case for you? You've obviously worked with a lot of dogs. Uh, yeah, so Leo's my sixth dog, um, but yeah, he is super special. Um, I knew from very early on that he was exceedingly intelligent. So what is the key to training a, a dog? Is it just food? Are some dogs beyond training? Are some breeds better than others? Um, definitely if they're food motivated, it makes training a lot easier. Um, most of these training is done with food, sometimes toys. Um, and he responds well to praise as well, so just tell them he's really good, makes them really excited. I got, I got to tell you, you know, I'm, I'm sure people must ask you, Emily. I mean, I'm, I've, I've trained my dog to the trainer, and, you know, they did a great job, but then they comes home with me, and, uh, you know, I think I just don't follow up. So is it, is it just, <laughs> am I just an idiot, or, do you, or is there something I can do to keep my dog from jumping on people? I think you just keep doing it consistently, even if you're only training two, three minutes a day. Um, you don't need to like set aside a whole hour to train every day, but just kind of small, frequent. Um, even like when you're waiting for the kettle to boil, I train quite a lot, make a cup of tea, wait for the kettle to boil, do a little bit of training, and just kind of incorporate in your day. Ah, see, just put on a kettle, Larry, and I could train the dog to, you know. Very nice. Isn't that wow, great? Wow, it would be great to have that kind of ambition again. So did the dog, when you're training the dog to do tricks, is there some type of competitions you go in for dogs that do tricks? Yeah, and um, so we've been taking part in the international trick dog competition. Um, so we've been really lucky. Leo's won the last six of the champion leagues. Wow. Um, he's wow. special awards for his like, unique tricks, creative tricks. And oh. if, if, um, if people want to reach out to you and have you train their dogs, can they do that, Emily? Yeah, we do Zoom lessons, um, and we have an online trick course as well, so yeah. Okay, oh, great. Tricks. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you can follow Emily and Leo on Instagram. Check them out on YouTube at Trick Spaniel. You can also take Emily's online trick course by going to the link on your screen. Thanks, Emily. Nice to meet you. Thanks, okay. Emily. Thank you.